everybody. My name is E-Double. Their name is PJ Harvey. Let's go. Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo 92 and today I have a brand new episode of my National Squad Builder series. As you can tell by the title of the video and the name of the squad, that is of course going to be Senegal. We're running the 4-3-2-1 formation and this squad was recommended by one of my subscribers. I tried and tried to find his name but I could not find it so the man who was, just leave it down in the comments and I'll be sure it thumbs up because I will recognise your name when I see it, I just cannot remember it right now. The goalkeeper is the only Senegal goalkeeper in the entire game and he plays in MLS but he's actually really unbelievably good i've got to be honest with you guys i really did not expect that to be so good for a bronze goalkeeper we're really really just trying out to go on mls squad he's like so overpowered it's unbelievable the right back has got like the worst ball control i've ever seen but somehow he makes it work he's got absolutely ridiculously bad ball control but he's such a beast in defense along with the next man and that is going to be bat it's not the only bats in this squad but we're going to be speaking about this bar right now and he's 76 pace on him 68 defending 79 heading he's an absolute tank I've never seen a bronze defender so dominant in the air. It's absolutely unbelievable. He scored so many goals for me as well towards the later end of the 10 of the games. I think in the last three games he scored four goals. So that was quite unbelievable. The set and the informed centre back was of course going to be Dewara from Marseille. Everyone's kind of knows about him. He's an all around beast, so it does make a quite a strong partnership in the centre back positions. The left back's going to be Tuari that plays for QP. I was really surprised by his strength on the ball as well. I thought he was just going to be a sort of weak but skillful. But he's actually got a lot of strength for him too, and that really did help out the defence. Uh, can he make a brick, absolute brick wall in defence? The cent the first centre is going to be Kamara, A1 pace on him, 72 pay, uh, defending and 75 him. Really strong as well, the whole sort of theme of this, this squad is actually going to be the strength and ability, that's what I really did love about him. Same with this guy, he just like, it his strength, 75 pace on him, 82 defending and 78 him. This man is just hangs right back and he'll just sit in between the two centre backs and protect him. He's got over 80 marking. He's got that quick pace and he's also over 6 feet. I think it was 6 foot 4, I'm not 100% sure. Because it is rendering while well, I watch this. Uh, but he's really, really strong. So, so good. I cannot believe it. But he is on the, in the Norwegian league, so you can't really make hybrids, sadly. I think that's why he's so cheap. The next centre mid is going to be. Coyote, or Coyote, I call him as. 81 pace, 75 defending, 77. 6 foot 3 against so that's unbelievable height in this defence. That's 6 foot 2, 6 foot 3, and 6 foot 4, I think it is. So that, can you just imagine that? They're all uh, got high defensive work rate and high attack and work rate, except from Kara as well. So they're pushing up constantly and defending constantly. All that height and all that strength it really just gives you this kind of overpowered uh, feel, whether you're defender or attacking. Centre forward is going to be so. He does play in the French League as well. Really good as well. Underrated player who's only gone for like 750 coins. 8 pace, 8 one shooting. He's got a great shot. He's not an unbelievable shot, but he's a quick player with some nice skill moves and he's got a decent header. He's probably the weakest player, but I couldn't really put that down in the sense because he did score a lot of goals for me. But, uh, it is the sort of the weakest one on the ball. Next man, it reminds me a lot of Dennis Bergkamp, and before he's go crazy and say how, it's just the way he finishes. He's got the, the most unbelievable finesse shot. It just seems so effortlessly beautiful. You'll see a goal coming up in the next few minutes. That he just takes a wee touch, and knobs, uh, lobs it at the defender, and just smashes it in. It's absolutely unbelievable. Got great pace. He's also the most expensive man in the team, and also got that heading ability as well. Really tall, really strong. The next man has just got the anabolistic power. That's what I like to call him. Uh, CC is the nice, uh, what was finesse shots and badge. Just unbelievable raw power. 86, really, really strong. Uh, 82 head and all around beast. Everyone knows him because he's in the BPL. So I'm not going to speak too much about him. Kind of bum up. You all know about him. Uh, but really, really try this guy. If you, he only costs like 12k or something now, it's absolutely unbelievable. But any some goals now. Can I see the coyote? Probably should have finished this, but look at that absolute beautiful touch by CC. Flicks over his head and does a nice little finish. Uh, I think it was a chip volley. I didn't really mean to do the chip volley. I was trying to flick it over. Uh, their skill moves, but I was trying to ball it in, but I've done a chip ball, so I'm going to just claim that and pretend. But I've actually watched free hit highlights here. I normally don't do that, but that was just unbelievable. I think it deserves it. But this squad was so, so surprising to me, especially when teams have got bronzes. I really go, oh no. Especially with bronze goalkeepers, that's why I've delayed using this squad so long because I think the subscriber that suggested it to me was three or four videos ago. So I wasn't really sure about doing it, but I went and checked out anyway because I always do that when you subscribers leave me everything, just like I've checked Chile and Peru, things like that that's been left in the last few videos. Always check them out in a beautiful little curl there by Ba. Uh, but yeah, it was just so unbelievable. I won every single game. And at the end, towards the end of the highlights, I'm going to show you three highlights from the same game. That was my 10th uh, game, and I was getting beat 2-0 at half time. I was getting, absolutely getting... But I'm going to speak about that in the next few minutes. 
but I have no idea what it is. It must just be the strength and the power that really just completely overpowered this side. Whether it's just like volleys or like uh, goal kicks, you're instantly winning the ball back. Just because of that height from throw-ins, you're instantly winning it back. Because of the defenders, the defensive mids and the strikers have all got that heading ability. It's just completely in ooze control. I actually love the squad. Uh, you'll see with the rating I gave at the end. Make sure you stay to the end. Right to the very end and you'll see what I've gave it out of 10. But really definitely stepped up. The last few squads have been okay. Nothing too special. Especially the Argentina side that definitely gave me a sour taste in my mouth. But this one really did bring it back. Here's an example too. That heading about instantly winning the ball back. This is the game I was lo losing 2-0 and getting battered in, in the final. And just beautiful passing there, just patient work out. I knew I was going to come back because I was completely confident in my ability to win with this team. Really strong play again here, Cece. I do trick him there. I thought I was going to do the one two trap over the top ball, but I just would leave it to Bar because I know Bar has got the shot ability and just absolute bullets it into the bottom of the net. And that makes it 3 2. And here's a nice little pass movement here because we're not done in the 90th minute. I see the options being taken away from me there, so I go wait inside, and I know Coyote is going to go the the high attack more right, so I just wait patiently for him, and he just raced up, and a beautiful finish in the corner, making up for an earlier miss in the video, but yeah, I'm just going to speak a little bit about the, the price now, it was 102k, definitely worth it, I'd, I'd really... Uh, with the 500 odd K I've spent in Argentina side, I'd happily pay this. The best players are going to be Cara, Coyote, and Cissé. The surprisingly good's got to be the goalkeepers. Absolutely overpowered. Absolutely insane. I've no idea if he's so overpowered just because he's the only Senegal uh, goalkeeper in the game. That might possibly be it. But anyone, just try him. He just seems to get to everything. He's not even got bad handling or nothing. Normally with bronzes and the, the finesse shots, they never get to. But he always gets them. It's really surprising. Uh, Ba, of course, the centre back was really surprising as well. Really quick and strong. And Kamara, the centre back. I'm not going to put So as the worst player because he's definitely for me. But yeah, definitely try the squad, lads. This is, what the, this is the whole point of doing the national squad, brother. This squad is a prime example. So go out and buy the squad, try it, and leave it down in the comments. I've been CJ Novo 92. Thank you for watching, and bye bye.